Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and today we're making a Malibu Island Breeze. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a Malibu Island Breeze. Yes, this is a variant of the Malibu Bay Breeze, and you know what? I'm looking forward to it. The ratios are different. We've got a bit more pineapple juice and we're not using any grenadine at all. We are using, however, a little bit of cranberry juice. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's get into it. The first thing you need is your shaking glass of choice. Now you could use a tin, you could use a cobbler shaker. If you had a mason jar at home with a lid, you could use that or even a workout bottle with the shaker inside. Totally up to you for what you have. Because remember, this is your cocktail and you don't need to go out and buy anything special for this. Now the first thing you need is a little bit of Malibu coconut rum. Now I really like this rum. Uh, you have to remember that if you're new to Malibu rums, the coconut rum is a sweeter rum with a very strong coconut smell and taste. For this we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. Oh yeah, looking good. I love this stuff. The next thing you need is a little bit of peach schnapps. In this case, I'm using Dr. McGillicay's peach schnapps. You can use whatever peach schnapps are available to you in your local area. For this, we need one ounce or 30 milliliters. Yeah. The next thing you need is a little bit of pineapple juice. In this case, I'm using fresh pressed pineapple drip pineapple juice. Now the reason I suggest pressed is that there's no sugars added so you get the natural flavors. And I'm all about having natural and fresh fruits when possible, but we have to remember not everything's available everywhere you live. And we need an ounce of this and 30 milliliters. The next thing we need is a little bit of cranberry juice. Now, I'm using a straight cranberry juice. It's ocean spray cranberry juice. And for this, we need half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Ooh, look at that. Looking pretty sharp. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some ice and we're gonna shake this for a good 15 to 20 seconds. Slap your lid, make sure your seal is good, give it a spin, or don't, your choice, and shake it hard with a smile. Yeah. Smack it open with the strength of a thousand pineapples. Goes off to the side. Grab my hands, my area. Grab your glass of choice. You could use a highball glass, a Collins glass. In this case, I'm using a goblet, just because I like the way it looks. Add some fresh ice. And now you're done with that. Grab your strainer of choice. And I'm going to use my fine strainer. You don't have to, but I'm just gonna keep out the little ice chips. Look at that. Nice, tasty, simple. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your knife, get rid of that, move that off to the side, grab a lime, and this is what we're gonna use for a garnish. We're just going to use a lime wheel, put a small cut, and here we go. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Just a hint of different color to stand out. Smells really, really good. You immediately get the lime directly under your nose because you've got the lime here. However, you get a little bit of coconut, a little bit of peach, and some pineapple. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is so good. So simple, so easy to use. The coconut and the peach go really, really well together. They're held in place nicely by the pineapple juice. And you get just a hint of cranberry which also gives us this lovely, lovely color. Oh yeah. Mmm. You know what? Perfect for the back deck. 
perfect to do in large groups for yourself and your friends. And you know what? I really like this and I think you will too. Now what I will do is I will put the ingredients down in the uh, description with the method of how to make this. If you think I should try a different type of coconut rum or a different peach schnapps, please let me know down below. Now if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps. And you know what? I'm going to the back deck. You have a great day. Now, the first thing we need is some Malibu rum. Now, in this case, Mal this is a white rum and it's a coconut rum, and that sounded stupid. Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today, you totally distracted me.